As we commemorate Remembrance Day across the country, we sat down with some of our local heroes to hear their stories and personal experiences as veterans. Oh, it was back in uh, 42 when I was 17 and a half, I guess I joined up. They called me up when I was 18. <clears throat> Lots of people at that time in the service. Everybody, you know, that you knew was either coming or going. Well, I lost my brother. He, he was shot down in Yugoslavia. He was a pilot also. And uh, I always think of him, you know. Well, I guess they, they, you know, they don't realize what, what went on. You know, today it's centralized little skirmishes, but that was a big deal in those days. Thousands of Canadians all over the place. That's, they should remember that. Charlie is also a proud veteran who spent years serving for Canada. I was 16 years old and they had a program going that offered you two years of high school education plus uh, military work. So I joined for, and you had to sign for seven years with the option you could get out at the end of five. So that's what I did. Again, I uh, went in with a grade 10, I come out with my grade 12 plus uh, my military service. Well, I served my first two years in Camp Borden training. Uh, then my first posting, I went to the Arctic for a year. It was in Fort Churchill, polar bear capital. <laughs> and uh, from there I went to Germany for three years and served there. And then I came home and I served another year and then I was out. Well, the way that the guys were that were in the Canadian Army during the war or whatever, they, uh, they left a great legacy in the Everybody loves Canadians. Uh, you go over there and they just can't do enough for you, especially in Holland. People in Holland were terrific. You go to those graveyards and you see all those boys that are buried there, 18, 19 years old, and the way the Dutch people look after them cemeteries is just amazing, terrific. It makes you very proud to be Canadian. To know what the people had to do to put us in the position that we are in today, it wasn't easy, and it, uh, but it was worthwhile. When we look around us and see what we have, it uh, makes me very proud to think of my predecessors, for sure. Wayne works with the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 25, who work tirelessly for and with local veterans. What I, I, what I was always told when I was a young fellow, by my dad and by other veterans. If you don't like what you got now, just think of the alternative. It brings me uh, the feeling of, of uh, camaraderie between the veterans that are still left alive, the ones that have passed that I've known, that I knew years ago. Um, it's it's a, a, a time during the year when you begin to think Oh yeah, they did this for me, and, and they did this, what, what they've done for me. The biggest thing that I, I like to think about is uh, if I have to march in the, in the cold weather for five minutes, I think about the guys that were over there for five years, and this is nothing compared to what, what they went through. This Remembrance Day, when you wear your poppies proudly, take a minute to remember the stories of the brave men we talked to today. Reporting for Shaw TV, I'm Jasmine Pozo.